What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, uh, I've been away for quite a while, probably about a month. And um, that's because guys, I'm working a 9 to 5 every single day. I'm trying my best guys to post consistently. and um, But it's difficult guys, and I'm trying my best. Um, so I'm trying my best to give you guys the consistent videos that I should be doing. Or that I should be giving you guys. But that out of the way, guys, today we're on a breakfast run. Uh, we are heading out to Franzouk, in a, a, to a motor museum in Franzouk. And guys, so let me show you guys what cars actually pulled up today. Uh, guys. <coughs> okay, guys. Folks, I can sit guys with the DSG gearbox. Right. A Zeta with a DSG gearbox, guys. Wow. What a nice golf GTD. Nice OPC here, uh, straight from Cape Town. Oh my god, guys! Got a few polos right here as well. Polos right here, guys. The Jetta with the DSG. Another polo right here, clean polo. <laughs> That's the car I came in, guys. And they. <laughs> okay, guys. So, so we got also two Subarus right here. Pretzels. Wonderful guys. So yeah guys, these are the cars that pulled up. Um, so we are about to head out to Franzouk. So I'll get you guys there. So guys, um, so this is how it looks. So we got different storages right here, the back four storages with different cars. Um, so I'm gonna head into the first one, so you guys can experience this for, with me for the first time. I'm quite excited, guys. Um, let's see, let's see what is in the first place, guys. So we got a collection of old school cars. Guys, comment down below if you guys are into old school cars. Not nothing that interests me at the moment.
So guys, I'm moving to the next storage facility. Um, so the first one wasn't exciting at all. So hopefully the next one is better. Let's see guys, let's see. So more old school cars. So this storage facility has old school cars as well as you guys can see. But the cars are a bit more modern than the first cars in the first storage facility. Like I said guys, if you guys are into old school cars, let me know in the comment down in the comment section down below. Got the mini Bugatti right here. Yeah, that's the first exciting car. Motorcycles, Fords. So these were one of the first cars being built. And as you guys might know, Ford is the manufacturer that produced the first vehicles, or one of the first vehicles. Okay, so this is the second storage facility. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm moving to the third storage facility. Um, nothing much exciting in the first two. To be honest, guys, I'm not actually, I'm not into old school cars. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you guys are into old school cars, maybe I can. Um, Give you guys more content if you guys are into those type of cars and i will make a plan guys but for now mm -mm, not my taste guys so this is the the third storage facility and um let's see what they have guys i hope hopefully it's more exciting than the first two Let's see guys, let's see. So, okay, so this is a bit more exciting than the first two. Okay, old school car. So we got an Audi S6 guys. Um, so this is the car that was used in the movie um, Transporter. Okay, got an old school BMW and then BMW 7 series from 2004 so this car guys is the car this is not the car but this is um, the type of car that Tupac was driven in and, uh, and was skilled in guys the 7 uh, BMW 7 series it looks the same it looks like a long a long wheelbase uh, 7 series let's see what they say here okay so this is a security edition yeah long wheelbase version of 7 series saloon um, you guys can pause uh, the video and and if you guys want to read the description but this car looks amazing guys especially in person bulletproof I think this car is probably bulletproof guys um, okay, old school. Then we have uh, several lit utility. So, um, damn. Gee, was guys. Yo. So let's see what the description says. Oh my word, uh, this thing looks amazing. So it says here. Um, so this is a so they call it brute it's a one of one produced in South Africa um, so this thing is based on the Chevrolet Lumina uh, 
pakkie and it's turbocharged it makes makes around 216 newton meters of torque guys this thing is insane funny enough we have the same utility bucky but yeah no our, our bucky doesn't look as good as as good as this thing carbon fiber mirrors as well super cool super cool wow okay so we've got an old school car right here as well austin Ely. Mercedes Benz from 1939. And another Mercedes Benz Cabriolet. Luxury Limousine from 1971. Stunning. We've got a Fiat right here. And one of the Fiat's that was in the movie Cars. Uh, looks quite cute. Comment down below guys if you know the name of this car in Cars. In the movie Cars. Super small. Okay. Alfa Romeo. We've got another Alfa Romeo right here. I've never seen this car in person guys, first time, this is a Alpha from 1991, okay, only 1036 were built, wow, amazing guys, amazing. Got a Beetle right here. Um, Jigua E type, if I'm not mistaken. Another Beetle MZ, okay. Another MZ Jigua E type from 1968. Jaguar XKR so they say here yeah, guys this car is supercharged okay V8 Thank you. Okay, guys, so that storage facility was so far exciting for me at least. Um, like I say, guys, I'm not into old school cars as, uh, as much. Um, so, this is the last facility, guys. I hope they have more exciting cars than the first two at least so you guys are experiencing this with me in real time let's see guys what they got let's see okay so we got a Chevrolet Corvette replica from 1959 Wow, this thing looks amazing, guys. Let's see what they say. So, it's a locally built lip, uh, replica from the USA. So, this is a first generation um, Corvette. And I will tell you guys that these cars still turn heads till this day so we got 
a Fort Mastiro. It's a Mastiro, guys. It's not a Mustang, but I think it's it is based on a Mustang. It's just a pickup version of the Mustang. Okay, let's see what they say here. Only 50 Mastiros were built back in 1966 with a small block V8. Okay, that's that's quite exciting. Mastiro, guys. Just look where the exhaust sits. Then we have um, Civil Corvette Z06 from 2010. Sorry. Wow. Let's see. I think this is a V8, guys. Uh, so. Okay, so they say here uh, this thing makes about 377 kilowatt um, and all aluminium body a first for the Corvette to be uh, to have a all aluminium body 637 newton meters of torque that's impressive then we have a Viper oh my word guys just so I mean I don't know if you guys can see how wide the car is but gee was so this is a Viper GT2 competition coupe six speed okay what do they say uh, you guys you can pause the video uh, if you want to read the description Max speed three, uh, plus minus 350 kilometers per hour. Wow, 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 wow. Insane. Harley Davidson from 1964. Okay, then we got racing cars right here. If one cause as you guys can see we got pictures right there from back in the day Pose 912 Coupe from 1965. This is quite cool, guys. Uh, 930 Turbo from 1979. Then we have a Mercedes Benz E Class Brabus Edition, guys. Wow. This thing looks amazing. So, what do they say about this car? So, it's a Brabus V12. Only 15 were made, guys, worldwide. Making 428 kilowatts. That's, that's insane. For a car from 1998, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, so, got Aston Martins right here. D84 GT from 1961 then we got the ultimate Honda NSX from 1996 so this car was helped developed by the late Eden Senna wow and they say here uh, that this car is all aluminium um, making 191 kilowatts amazing guys i like this car as you guys know with all hondas not all hondas but but with um performance hondas 
they can rev they have high revs so they are epic when it comes to revving okay that's the NSX then we have a DeLorean from 1982 this car looks uh, looks so amazing guys first time I see this car I've always been seeing this car on the internet and on YouTube videos and this car has I think this is the they say here the only model produced by John DeLorean's company in in Belfast okay it so it has a v6 engine from Volvo so I think this car is one of the first cars to be having um gullwing doors you can get, uh, correct me on that guys if i'm mistaken and this is the car that um Pohoko used in fast and the furious a fast seven, uh, fast six reynold godini from 1967 very cool guys wow amazing that was the last barnyard um, that was the most exciting one for me um, and I'm not sure how many of you guys are into classic cars um, from cars from 1920-1930 not my taste guys but let me know in the comments if you guys are into those cars as I said I will make a plan if you guys really are into those cars and um, so the guys already left as you guys can see so let me know guys if you like the video um, comment down below what you think um, like the video and if you're new please subscribe guys we really appreciate it and we it I think at 1110 subscribers but um, guys I really appreciate each and every one of you who subscribe and if you're new guys please subscribe um, if you like the video give me a like and um, I'll see you guys in the next video and I will be doing a review that's my next video guys so peace out love you guys see you guys in the next video